What's up you guys? Today I bring you another vlog. So I'll be showing you guys how I do my makeup, my like on a daily basis. I wanted to take this opportunity to show you what I use because I don't think I've ever shown. Especially like recently, I've been getting really good at it. So I wanted to show you guys how I do that. Okay, it sets. It reminds me of like the Vogue makeup routine. If you've ever watched that, I don't know. <laughs> this is my own freaking Vogue makeup routine, whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna start off by putting my hair all the way back because I feel like um, I, I just can't do it with like my hair on my face, you know? I'm wearing my hair extensions by the way, so hopefully they don't mess up, but that's that. More or less, there you go. I'm gonna use the day, the daylight as like my light and I also have like this little mirror light here that it's like projecting light because it's like a little bit like gloomy outside actually it's very gloomy there's like there hasn't been sun all day so okay so right now my face is like totally clean like I washed it I you know it's not good so every day like every morning I just like use the sunscreen and then I apply this other moisturizer I think, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it looks like this. Roche Posay. I'm not sure. Oh my god. I freaking fell under my bed and I was like freaking out. I thought I lost it. So I applied this and I said it's called La Roche Posay. I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's a French name. This is actually French. Moisturizes your face really, really good. So I totally recommend it. You can wear it like on your face or in other parts of your body, which I really like. They actually have different like things for this brand. Like they have like face washes they have like um for acne they have like a lot of things so i haven't tried those this is the first product that i tried from them and i got this from ulta i think they sell it at target as well if i'm not mistaken yeah it's a little bit on a pricier side and it's like kind of just like a small container the bottle thing but like i think it's totally worth it and like one time i even had like this like really dry spot on my hands and i applied it there and it just vanished worked like a magic so so i recommend you guys train this out show you guys how i applied this on my face and i'm just kind of like dab a little bit okay it's on i already spread it throughout my face and what i really love about this like my favorite thing is that it gives you like the natural glow like that like like fresh glow and like models and everything i was like how do they get that like really nice glow on their face well i don't know how they do it but i just do it with this and like i gotta tell you it's really helpful it really moisturizes and balances your skin really well so you should try that out oh, i have a freaking pimple like my skin was doing so good these past few days and then suddenly now it decides to come out the next thing i use is this professional um what is that what is that? I don't know. It's a primer. Yeah. It's really, really good. You can't go wrong with this. It's like a like a basic. I literally wash it every single time that I'm going to use it. Like before I use it. Because I like it like a little bit damp. And might as well. I just wash it off with soap. So all the ugly stuff from the last use can go off. If that makes sense. And yeah. And then I'm just going to use this foundation. I just apply this on my face. Like, it doesn't really matter how you do it, like, you just kind of like, but that's just me. Yeah, I was like, how have you guys been? I've been really stressed for the past, well, last week. I feel a little bit better now because I'm already done with finals, like she's done with this semester. So I'm glad for that. I hated it, obviously. I don't think anybody enjoys finals but yeah obviously <laughs> i did my very best and that's all that matters but that's basically the, it that's been going on now i'm gonna blend this in with the damp beauty blender and i'm just gonna blend 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 non-stop i don't really have much to say <sighs> i don't know i don't i don't really have a like any concrete plants for the summer hopefully it's a fun summer that's all i can say because last summer really sucked and i'm sure it sucked for everybody you know 
but it is what it is yeah just gotta work through things and figure things out and and make it better each time that's all i can say but yeah i feel like i need a little bit more sometimes if i'm feeling it i add a little bit more coverage so i add a little bit more of concealer i mean sorry what is this foundation okay i said concealer no sorry i meant foundation i'm gonna go with like the most important part for me honestly it's the highlight of my face literally but yeah i'm gonna buy some concealer i use the tart you know the usual and i use the mini one because i love everything mini and you know everything mini is better by the way if you're wondering why my, my sponge looks like this yeah by accident i just pulled on it and i just like the tip came off so yeah that's just how i've been using it now but it's all good you just just kind of use it like this you know okay i already blended it in but like i said i always like to apply double so i'm gonna go in one more time i'm gonna go in with the morphe powder and i'm just gonna like i like, kind of like bake really quick i don't like l let it sit for long but I just apply some like this under my eyes just to set the foundation. My brush that I use for powder, my powder brush, and then I just kind of like blend it in like that. I just kind of like tap it as well. Now I'm just gonna use this brush. I don't even know what these brushes are called to be honest. I don't, I'm not really technical on that as long as it w looks like it works. I use it, you know, I'm not like super technical use the hula i literally had this for like three years already and i still have some like oh, i was crazy i just kind of like blend it like this underneath my cheekbone i also apply some here underneath to kind of contour my jawline in a way you know i just uh, i love to add a lot especially because i tan so i feel like this color will blend in with my tan and stuff now that i kind of like give myself some color once again bake just kind of to give more like a shape to it and I'm gonna apply some in there and some here. Okay, and then I'm gonna blend it. Now I'm gonna contour my nose. It's honestly really important to me. I just use this brush that kind of looks like 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 this, I'm like slanted. I am gonna use a close-up mirror with this because I've literally been using like the freaking my my screen as a mirror. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, it looks like a lot, but it's okay because we're gonna blend them right now and it's not really gonna like be noticeable anymore. And then I just put a little bit here to kind of like flatten this part. Yeah, and just connect it. It looks really weird, but it's the process. Just trust the process. Like I've said, always trust it. No matter what it is, just trust the process. That's basically it. I'm gonna leave it like this. Just kidding. Obviously, no, <laughs> I'm just gonna um blend it up it's kind of like medium brush i don't know what it's called but it's just kind of like flat and medium but it's not like super small but i don't know and then i just kind of like tap it. it took me a lot of practice not gonna lie to work on my nose contour so now i'm gonna add some powder here just to blend it out i literally had this brush since like middle school i don't know <laughs> it's funny but yeah but yeah that's just how it's supposed to look here on the sides it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of like there. We're gonna blend it with this brush again, the powder brush. Just kind of go in like this. Give it some white there to give it that lit effect. Not white, but like just like light here and darker here, and it looks like if it's lifted, you know. That's that. I'm gonna add some blush. I'm not really that big on blush, but I decided to add a little bit of color to my face. Because either way, I already have like pink undertones on my skin. So I use this like medium brush. Again, I don't know the name of it. Just use whatever is helpful for me. And I just go with this like pinky, light pink shade. But I really like it. It's like a peachy color. And I just dab a little bit here on my cheekbone. So, oh yeah. So I use this um, brow gel. Uh, Maybelline and honestly it took me freaking years to perfect my eyebrows because I used to have sharpie eyebrows when I was like younger like a few years ago not a few years ago but like when I was like in high school and stuff like 
like two three years ago i used to have sharpie eyebrows and that was not a good time let me just tell you i would just like draw with this pencil or whatever and it was bad it was really bad i just kind of like brushed them out and stuff something i've been doing recently is eyeliner i just used this two dollar one when wild because i wanted to use it to practice it but i actually ended up liking it and i just like draw a wing at the end of my eye just to give myself a more of a cat eye effect i don't know if i can film this oh my goodness It's not like a perfect wing. I'm still perfecting it. I'm still working on it. So I'm gonna do the same one with the other eye, but I'm not gonna film this because it's just a lot of pressure. I feel like I'm gonna mess up. They kind of look very like slightly different. You can't really tell, but it's okay. I just kind of fixed it. Um, I'm like really proud of myself for doing this. Oh my god, I'm really good. I'm gonna freaking curl my eyelashes. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. It's been actually like popular around TikTok. I don't know. I was like iffy when it came to like trying it, but I was like, why not? I would just try it. Like it gives them length. However, it does not give them volume. So if you're looking for, if you're looking to get length, then this is the one for you. But if you need volume, then this is not really gonna work out. I already have long eyelashes as it is, but I wanted more length because why not? Go big or go home. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit under my or my under eyelashes. So I always do that. Okay, now I'm gonna apply the big eyelashes and they just look like this, you know. But I'm just gonna put like I just put like one of this little thing <laughs> on my like outer corner, or whatever. I just basically okay. Here's the one. I'll grab this one. Here's this one. I just grab the tweezers and then I grab the little hairs with my finger and then I just kind of like put some glue on it like that and then I'm just gonna like grab the hairs with my tweezers and let's see if I can do this oh my goodness and then I just put it towards the end where my eyeliner is and it's okay all right so the eyelashes are situated I don't really use eyeshadow I literally just use the bronzer and I use it as eyeshadow I just use like this shader brush i think that's what it's called i don't know and just kind of like go up like this and just blend it like that i've actually been doing this for a while and until recently that i found out that king k also do does this just for depth to give like the eye some depth thought that was pretty cool you know i don't know kim and i use the same technique and now i'm just gonna add some highlighter and it, i use this one it's from tarte it's this white shimmery one that i like to use and i put some here at the top of my nose but i want to go to extra milestone and i just use this lipstick um pencil no what is it lipstick pencil i don't know matte lip liner okay it's kind of like overline it a little bit because how kind of small lips you know not like super small but i like to make them look a little bit bigger they look a little bit more perky in a way. By the way, this color is in the... Yeah, it's called Brunch Me, if you're wondering. I'm gonna go in with this mini MAC lipstick. Um, and it's in the Velvet Teddy. So yeah, that's basically it. Take me like an hour, I'm not gonna lie. Just try to keep it natural, but just like to define my face. Yeah, basically like everybody's makeup should be different because everybody, you know, they all have different face shapes different things work for us not everything's gonna work the same way for everybody so that's just a disclaimer i wanted to make um because whatever works for me may not work for you or whatever works for you may not work for me so this is just my own routine that i do for my own face that i created but yeah everybody's should be different definitely i'll update you guys in a bit and i'll let you know what it is that i do because i don't really have anything planned I don't know. We'll see. Let me update y'all really quick. So I ended up going to Target with my friend. So yeah, I'm gonna do a Target haul really quick. A small mini Target haul. And I also got a blizzard. This is a cheesecake blizzard from Sonic. 
she got a gift card from there. So that's why we went to Sonic. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Sonic. So I got them my cellar water because I was running out of my cellar water. And I got this one. This is the one I used. So it's freaking summer, tanning season. And I always tan either way. So I use this the Jergens. If you haven't watched that video of my tanning routine, then go and watch it. I explained everything there. But yeah. Next, I was running out of my conditioner. So I was looking at the section where they have like the mini stuff. Um, and I come across this conditioner. And I don't really know how to pronounce this brand, but it's this. And I thought it looked kind of aesthetic, you know, I feel like it's gonna be good. So I was like, okay, I would try it. So I got the mini version. Mm, yeah, it says no sulfates, no formaldehydes, no dyes, and all that good stuff. Okay, last but not least, I got these wipes. I can wipe my phone off because I always clean my phone every time I get back from like being out or something and i just clean my phone i like my phone to be clean and you know gotta keep it safe but yeah this is how my makeup looks now my face is getting a little bit greasy and also because i wear the mask like it got a little bit messed up i feel i so just end the vlog here because i'm not really gonna do anything else it's interesting hope you guys like my makeup routine or hopefully it was helpful in a way I wanted to share what I do on a daily basis with my face and stuff. Stay tuned for my next vlog and subscribe and follow my Instagram and you know the drill. But yeah, I'll see you all on my next vlog. Bye!